Welcome back. So, you guys seem to really be enjoying these top five videos. Uh, the two that are two or three that I've done now are my number one trending video this month, and you guys have now given me, I think we're up to like 13 or 14 other top five videos that you want me to do. So, yeah, we're gonna start knocking down that list, starting with this one, of course, my top five dream reptiles. It's gonna be a little crazy because I, I got some big dreams when it comes to reptiles. So I hope you guys enjoy. Stick around, let's check it out. Roll the intro. I just wanted to have a quick disclaimer, and that's the fact that this is going to be like a bucket list almost. Not really like, like I said, I'm going to be like, oh, I've always dreamt I want a Komodo dragon, so I want to, I want to put, uh, you can't ever get a Komodo dragon. These are going to be the reptiles that eventually will be here at DBCB Exotics. It just has a matter of funds and other things like that. So, you know, if you like the list of the animals, we'll be getting them. So, you know, maybe, uh, maybe hit that subscribe button down there, yeah? Maybe? Help me out? Please. Please. <laughs> ah, almost forgot. <laughs> that it never gets old. I'm gonna be doing that every top five video. Get ready. Let's get this started. All right, kicking off this list, we are gonna start with number five, the Bush Pit Viper. Now, I don't think this should come as a surprise. I mean, I have one tattooed on my head. Like, I love bush pit vipers. Um, they're probably my favorite venomous snake out of all of them. I think they are just one of the most gorgeous snakes out there. The keeled scales that they have, just the beautiful blues and the greens, the yellows, the reds, every color that they come in is just incredible. They're an amazing species and just one that I love. So bush pit vipers, where are you going? Where? You want, you want to be on the shoulder, is that it? All right, looks like it's a shoulder gecko now. All in all, I just think bush pit vipers are an incredible species to own. It's definitely going to be one of the few venomous that I keep. I don't really want to get really big into it. I'm not going to get anything like any type of cobra, a gaboon viper, thing like that. But I am going to stick with a couple. We're going to talk a little bit more about some other venomous stuff. But bush pits are definitely going to be one of those that I'm going to keep. Moving down the list, let's talk about number... Did you poop on me and then jump away? Are you... Why do I bring you to these things? Oh. Uh, just a quick fun story time. I actually, way back in my older videos, used to take pebbles out a lot, but she kept pooping on me, so I stopped doing it. And then I started again, and she was like, oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm not gonna poop. Pooped on the last top five video and is now pooping on me again, so pebbles might not be in top five videos no more if this keeps up. We're, we're gonna substitute for another one. We got plenty to choose from. <sighs> All right, third wardrobe change. That shirt was really itchy for some reason, so we're good now. Anyway, number four, the Black Dragon. Black Dragon is two of my favorite things. Asian water monitors and the color black. So putting them together, it just has to be a dream reptile for me. Come on, black shirt, black shorts, gecko with black on it. I like the color black. And plus, I mean, come on, a melanistic water monitor? Just take a look at this thing. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I have been a great admirer of water monitors. Of course, thanks to Kevin McCurley, shout out to Nerd. You probably could already know who Nerd is. They have hundreds of thousands of subs and I have like three, but you know, maybe you don't. Nerd, they're, they're cool, cool dudes. Kevin's really the one that got me hooked on the water monitors, just seeing the intelligence that they have, the size that they get. There's just, I love so many things about Asian water monitors. Uh, it's definitely an animal that we are gonna be working with later down the road at DBCB Exotics, and the Black Dragon is definitely gonna be on that dream list. Uh, back then, they were a lot of money when I first thought about them. Somewhere around tens of thousands of dollars. They seem to have dropped down in the, you know, last couple of years, I would say. So they're, they're getting a little bit affordable. You know, they're, they're still like around that five, five grand, something like that. I haven't checked in a while because I, I don't have five grand to spend on a, on a lizard. But one day, one day we will. If anyone wants to donate me $5,000, we'll, we'll get one right now. You want to see a black dragon? Let's uh, D DM me, super chat. <laughs> all in all, the black dragon is incredible. It's definitely, what are you looking up at? 
definitely an incredible monitor. Definitely will be getting it later down the road. Of course, just don't have the funds right now. But speaking of expensive, incredibly cool monitor lizards, that's gonna have to bring us to number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. The crocodile monitor. Ah, uh, the crocodile monitor. Moniker. Jesus Christ. Ah, the crocodile monitor. The pinnacle of any monitor keeper's reptile collection. These things are basically the Ferrari of mo monitor ownership, except they're lizards, not cars. Why do people compare Ferrari to croc monitor? That just sounds weird, I don't know. Moving on. Funny enough, when croc monitors were still being imported, they really weren't as sought after and as well valuable as they were back then. Croc monitors used to be going on expo tables for somewhere around $600, and no one really wanted them because, you know, they can they can inflict some uh, some pretty big damage. But it seems as importation has slowed on them, and we seem to kind of getting work so well. Some people are having success with uh, captive breeding them. We're starting to get some F1 babies out there. Um, They've really skyrocketed in value, really looking anywhere from around $5.2 to $8,000, depending on if it's a baby, adult, import, captive bred. Um, yeah, they, where are you? You're just running around. Obviously, the crocodile monitor is going to be on the list. I mean, come on. It's like one of the most intelligent monitor lizards. They're incredible. They look fierce. They're, I think, the longest monitor lizard you can get. An arboreal, like, 6.5, 7 foot monitor lizard. That's just cool. Fun fact about the crocodile monitor, the crocodile monitor's eyes was actually used in the original, uh, I think it was the Lost World, the Velociraptor, the part where they show the eye um, in the jungle. I don't really, I'll, I'll put it right here. Uh, that was actually a crocodile monitor's eye. Fun fact, cool stuff. Let's keep going. We are narrowing it down now, Pebbles. We are down to our last two. What do you guys think they're gonna be? Do you think it's gonna be n number two, Tegu? You think it's gonna be number two, a Aki Monitor? No. These aren't lameless. This is just fucking weird shit that I enjoy. Number two, Boega. Just Boegas, actually. The whole, the whole, the whole, Boegas. Now, for some of you that don't know the scientific name, which I don't blame you, I know very little of scientific <laughs> names out there. Um, Boegas are the mangrove snake. Uh, I just absolutely love mangrove snakes. They are incredible. Of course, they're pretty much this black snake with yellow banding. Uh, particularly, I really enjoy the blue marbled mangroves, though. That's where you get, well, the picture's right here. They're just incredible looking snakes. I mean, it literally looks like you took a granite countertop and wrapped it into a snake form. They are just they are incredible while also being beautiful they also are a little spunky you know here at dbcv exotics we like some spunky animals we don't just do crested geckos we've got other stuff that tries to bite me on a daily basis um i don't think my hands will ever look the same again i truly don't Really anything that's remotely feisty is something that I'm interested in. I love stuff with spunky attitudes, a little more confidence, spunk to their step. This stuff what we love here at DBCB Exotics and Boegas just have that all in one. I mean, they are an incredible snake. They have that great um, attitude that I enjoy and I don't know, man. There's just there's something about the mangrove snake that I really like. It's gotta be one of my favorite snakes out of all the snakes that have ever been snakes. Mangroves, they're high up there on that list. Number two. All right, number one, my God. Excuse you. Real quick, before we say it, God damn squeaky chair. Before we say it, let's drop a comment. Just drop a comment real quick. Let's see, what do you guys think? What do you think my all time favorite reptile, dream reptile, is gonna be. Let's drop that, drop, hit that comment button. Um, maybe subscribe while you're down there. You know, we're, we're trying to, uh, try and get this, those, these subs up, and I feel like pressing the subscribe button would help. I'm not an expert, but I think that helps. <laughs> All right, number one, the end goal for DBCV Exotics, something that I have just been crazy about since I was just a little kid. Number one on the list, the melanistic American alligator. 
I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Dakota, this was supposed to be a top five obtainable list, like a bucket list, but you're saying alligator? You can't own, I can too own an alligator and you're gonna be damned right. God damn, that thing jumps. Yes, eventually here at DBCV Exotics, we will get into uh, alligator, American alligator mutations. Now, is this gonna be within the next couple of years? Definitely not. I mean, this is probably gonna be the end all for me where I'm pretty much done. I'm about 40, 45 years old. Um, things are looking really good at DBC DBCV Exotics. This is when things are looking up for us, you know, hopefully. Hopefully I'm still doing this when I'm 45. Hopefully I live to 45. Any of these things would be uh, p bonuses for me. So let's do it. 45 years old. Let, let, we're going, we're, we're, uh, we're rooting for it. But yeah, somewhere around 45 years old, say or so, I do want to start getting into the American alligator more. So American alligators have always been my favorite species ever since I was a little kid. Of course, you know, the one, the only, Steve Irwin definitely got me hooked. The crocodile hunter, come on. Alligators are just incredible. Uh, when I was a little kid, even around two to three months old, when I found my or saw my first alligator, we were living in Florida at the time, and they're just everywhere for some reason. Swamp cats, they call them. Do they? Do, hey, is anyone from? If, if you're from Florida, comment now. Do you guys call them swamp cats, or is that just is like a stereotype someone made up? Because I'm curious. Yeah, melanistic gators, man. Of course, like I said, you know, black, black watch, black spots. Black plugs, I like the color black, and an American alligator that is completely black is just incredible to me. It's fantastic, it's awesome. I don't really know what else to say, man. Like, uh, uh, alligators are cool, and a black alligator, that makes it even cooler. That's, yep. So, there you have it. My top five reptiles, that my dream reptiles that we're gonna get at some point in time. So, that was a thing. I didn't think it was a good thing. I don't think this, but it, it was a thing. We can say that, we can say that with full confidence, I'm sure. All right, we're gonna wrap it up for today, boys and girls. Um, What did you think? Another top five videos? What, what is this guy thinking? I don't know. I don't know why you guys like these videos so much, but if you wanna see some more or you got a top five video you want me to do, put it in that comment section. I'll probably get to it. We have five videos a week, people. I need content ideas. Please give me, I, just throw me a bone. Just comment a top five list. I don't care what. I'll do top five biggest lizard poops if someone comments it. I, I am dead serious. Why? There's a freight FedEx truck going on. What the hell? It's probably one of my snakes. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, that is going to wrap it up for today. So. If you liked the video, please see if you give us a big thumbs up, smash that like button, smash that sub button, share the video, woo! See, I can't be like the Jake Paul, man. I just, I don't have it in me. Like, I, I cringed in my soul when I did that. I, I apologize to the viewers. All your viewers out there that are watching this, I sincerely apologize for the last four seconds that you just saw. Well, if you like the video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of my animals or my breeding projects, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, DBCB Exotics. We're also on TikTok. We got some merch. This isn't it. This is just a weird design at $5tshirt.com or something like that. But this is my design. That's my design. And that's my design right there. They're pretty cool, right? Shirts are really cheap. Cheaper than most of the YouTubers that I've seen out there. I've seen people charging like 30 bucks for a shirt. That's nuts. Mine are like 17 bucks or something. Check it out down there, down in the description. But wait. There's more. Hopefully I put Billy, Billy Ray's face, ah, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, that's not what I, Billy Mays. Okay, Patreon, patreon.com. We've got Patreon, people. It's pretty cool. You get to see, shoot animal pictures for anyone. All the animals I get before anyone else gets to see them. The babies I produce, first dibs on that. Discounts on that merch, those were cool designs. You probably want that discount on them. And uh, discounts on my reptiles too. There's a bunch of different tiers for a bunch of different folks. Starts as low as, what do you think? I don't know. Uh, one penny every so often hours. I don't know what that adds up, but it goes to one dollar a month. That's pretty cool. I'm making no fucking sense at this point. Let's just throw it. Roll the intro. I'm done. I'm out of here. The crest of your work. We'll see you later, boys and girls. Mm -hmm.